I'm Wolf Blitzer. You're in the Situation Room. What? Welcome to that after show, everybody. Um, we got a bunch of stars here. Yeah, this is the internet only portion. So what kind of dirty stuff do we want to dish right here yeah. for, for the after yeah. show? Any, any, any groupie stories? Well, he any used to, dirt, speaking anything? of dirty dishes, he ate dog food once. Yeah, I had to. Really? <laughs> you ate right? dog food? Yeah. Good, Alpo, something good? Well, it was uh, uh, Imes. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's yeah, high that's end. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That, that, that's sort of like the yuppie stuff started coming in, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the organic. Yeah, organic. Uh, it was good, but I had to put pepper on it and salt. Mm. And uh, I had some uh, Crisco, so the pan, you know, would... Uh, you cooked it? Yeah, I, I had You didn't a, go raw to the no, can? No, I had to cook, and my friend had a dog who, who lived upstairs, and the friend moved out uh, with the dog, but he left the dog food. So I, I didn't have a penny to my name, and I lived downstairs. And I said, all right, let me, let me try this. So I put it in the pan. <laughs> uh, I started That's cooking it. Some, I started, put some butter in it. I started cooking it, and it tasted good. <laughs> the only thing that I didn't do was bark. <laughs> you know, but um, it, it kept me going for a while. Then I went. So this went on for a while? Like you but, lived on well, it for a little no, bit? It was 24 cans. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> You and went then, through a case and, of dog food. Yeah, and then the next thing. What was the best flavor? Well, it was it was all the same flavor. The, oh, there was in a the variety pack. <laughs> yeah, but I was. A, you Did know. you ever feed it to like one of your friends or maybe no, 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 you had over that. or something? No, they, they wouldn't be my friends anymore after that if they found out. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, we were talking but, before about Daryl loving his sweets so much. What's the like? What's the most intense sweets binge you ever went on? Like, did you just go crazy one day and just like? Buy giant bags of candy or what? Oh you do? well, it, that happens often when I go over to Germany a lot. Why Cause, Germany? Because in Germany, they get mad at you for wanting the things you used to in America. Like when the, the bacon, they don't cook it good. So when you say, "Can you take my bacon back and cook it more?" They like, "Stupid American!" So <laughs> just to avoid any, you know, uncooked meat or whatever, <laughs> I'll get up in the morning and I'll eat six plain bagels, right? <laughs> the shape so this guy is in, I can't believe this. Carbo loaded. And then for the rest of the day, for some reason, Europe in Asia has the best sweets, the pastries and the cakes. And if I'm out there on a two-week tour, it's sweets from morning till noon. That Belgian Which chocolate. That? Yeah. The Belgian the chocolate. Belgian yeah, chocolate. It's something really Vienna. that's good something about amazing, it. Even right? the cakes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Gary, what is the bad. lean years? What's the, you ever eat any dog food or anything like that? No, but there was one member of Exodus who shall remain nameless who uh, got really hammered one night and he got, went home, made a tuna fish sandwich, and the next day his mother asked him if he fed the cat late at night. Well, he'd opened up a can of cat food, he chopped up the relish, mixed it in with the oh. mayo. <laughs> you know, just, you know, it's the same size can. Yeah. It's like that Honeymooners right. episode. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him, how was it? He goes, it was hella good. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I've lived on, you know, bologna sandwiches, all that stuff. I remember in 1985, we were in a van tour across Canada, and we went to an all-you-can-eat steakhouse, Bonanza's. And uh, we would just trim the steak to fit these rolls they had at the salad bar, and then we'd throw the, the now steak sandwich in this big plastic bag we were hiding under the table, and we'd eat the trimmings. And so we had steak sandwiches to feed us for a while, but when you find some four weeks later on the floor of the Ugh. van, they were just like, a, it was a big mound of fuzz, like oh. <laughs> And you couldn't see what it was anymore. It was just like this. <laughs> You know, look like one of those little donuts with the snowballs, you know. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> like one of those. And, and there were steak sandwiches down in, and the ladies at the restaurant when we were doing this, like, you boys sure are hungry. And we are just, yeah, we need another steak. And we'd just trim it, eat it, <laughs> bash it. Oh. You know, we're Joel. starving to death, you know, in a yeah. van, you know. Of course. Joel, ever eat anything gross it. on the road, Joel? Uh, well, I have, a, I have a gross for you, like, really before my career took off at all. Like when I, I was living in Hollywood, I was working at Cherokee Studios as a tech and I think I was making minimum wage back then. And I, I shared a one bedroom apartment with two other guys. We were all broke as shit. And uh, there were just, it was such a cockroach problem in this apartment that we had a monthly score sheet for the kill. 
up there. And we were so broke that whoever killed the most cockroaches during the month won the five dollars or whatever we were putting in. It was just so pathetic. But that was that was really the roughing it years, man. I you never cooked up any items though, like this guy. No, no, I didn't eat dog food, but I, I, I'd try well, it. You, know, I, you didn't I, do like a man versus wild and have some of the cockroaches, none of that stuff. <laughs> I did eat. No. I did eat bugs off of windshields. <laughs> and why was that? Because we were betting each other. Yeah. They 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 uh, said to me, "Would you eat that bug off the windshield? Yeah, for how much?" So we would bet each other, right? And I I'd win the bet. Yeah, sure. I needed my protein. So that was it. I eated the bugs. I didn't care. I saw it in uh, <laughs> National Geographic. You know? Right. Absolutely. Hey, so it's it was all fine. Protein, I didn't yeah. care. I mean, that know? stuff happens on the road where, you know, I mean, you guys are all obviously hugely successful, but you still want, when you're on the road, just to, like, you know, break each other's balls, you go, I'll give you 50 bucks if you eat that sandwich that's been yeah, in the van for fun. the last three weeks. <laughs> Someone yeah, always does that, it. But I have no, eaten I bugs, really though, you know, but a different cir circumstance than him. Like uh, I was in China and they're selling them, you know, little scorpions on a stick, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I ate those and it was really good. Rob Dukes, you know, singer, he took it another level. He like ate some of the really scary looking ones. Like it looked like a grub, you know, and you could hear it pop. Oh. oh. And, uh, and the, the look on his face. I ate the ones that were well fried, well seasoned, and yeah. you know that, and some crickets. You know. there's, there's some bar in Milwaukee where you do the scorpion shot. Oh, it's a shot oh with a I, I ate crickets oh, before. I couldn't do that. You did? I've just soft. remembered. Yeah. yeah. They had like, powdered sugar so on them or fried, something. Or? You know, they're like crispy. No, no, I had crickets. I was in. I went to. Um, I was in Mexico with Molotov because I did two songs on Molotov's last album and they took me down and they took me to the restaurant and nobody in the crew would try it and I tried the crickets and it wasn't, it was a little dry but wasn't that bad. Was it bad? The bugs is no big deal now. <laughs> right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Now that I think about I mean, it. They were like teriyaki, the ones crickets I had in Japan. Yeah, they flavor them. <laughs> they were good. Yeah. The legs get stuck. Oh, in them. Yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. bugs, in man. The shell. Yeah. Yeah. Thin, you're like trying to get it out, but they were good. You know what never, you know like what never goes bad? And, and Daryl will like this. Mm -hmm. I work at a radio station that they've had one Twinkie in cellophane sitting on the console and it's been there, no joke, for like 14 years. In perfect condition. And it's perfect. Like, it's never really? nothing. It's, it's immaculate. So whatever's in Twinkies will last forever. Yeah. Really? I was in, yeah, I was in a bar band uh, back in the Chicago days that played in this club called Dirty Nellies. And the, the dressing room had no bathroom attached. So you'd have to, like, walk through the entire crowd so it was packed out. And I remember a bandmate taking a leak in a glass. Because we he was desperate. He was like, I'm not going to walk through there. So he took a leak in a glass. He set it up on this ledge out of the way. We went back there a year later to play, and his whiz was still sitting. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. I thought you were say I've actually been yeah, in, in clubs <laughs> with two guys that may or may not be singing to my right who have done that, actually. That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Right in a beer bottle. Nobody knows nothing. I'm like, hey, you want to hold this for a second? <laughs> Eddie ate a scorpion once. It was Francis Buchholz. But anyway, <laughs> folks, that's that after show. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your dinner.